Hey, it's BGV, and welcome back, ladies and gentlemen, to Let's Play Fallout, a post-nuclear role-playing game. <laughs> I'm probably still gonna get shit, just like with the lore, eh? even when I think I'm right in, in pronunciation, people still correct me. Anyways, welcome back to the series, ladies and gentlemen. In the last episode, we entered Vault 15. We killed ourselves a whole bunch of rats and a mole rat. Just a big variety of rats. Uh, and now we're going to move right along. I did find out how to start combat. It's A. If we press the A button... What did that actually do, though? Yeah, it started something, but there's nothing to attack. Apparently, if we press the A button, uh, combat will start. And, yeah. So, we'll press the A button. I also figured out how to use the, ro uh, how to use the rope over here, which we will do. But, if you remember, in the last episode... Um, oh, we're in combat mode now. That's... That's what it is. So we need to... Okay, I think that's it. So it just... It enters combat for like a turn. And as long as there are enemies, I think it will continue the combat. Okay, so... Um, in the last episode, we saw that there was a locker somewhere that we definitely want to interact with. The problem with this game is I don't know what we can interact with. This monitor is worthless with a broken display screen. Yeah, see, we can look at everything. We can even look at the walls and stuff. And I just don't know what... Oh, that's a locker. Okay, so that's a locker. I was, I was thinking a bigger one. All right, so in the locker, we have four stim packs. Very nice. We'll take all of those, of course. We also have a first aid kit. Still not sure really what those do. There we go. Okay, so that's what lockers look like. You see, that's the problem. They look so inconspicuous, you know, with these old-timey graphics. Okay, can we move? What's, what's happening here? Uh, do I have to, like, close the locker? I guess I have to close the locker. It's not letting me move, though, which is scaring me because that might mean Ian has to... What's happening? Enter? Ian's not moving, and I can't move. Um... You can leave now. I need to change... Yeah, I need to change formation. What distance do you want me at? Move to a longer range. Okay. Now, what does review do? Okay, it just gives us a text box of everything. Okay, ne uh, never mind. Now, are you going to leave? Oh my gosh, is he really locking me in here? I can't move now. Are you serious? I... Oh. Okay, yeah, so NPCs can block you in. That is not good, because there's like nothing I could do there except wait for him to move. Okay, I don't uh, I don't like the sound of that, but let's go ahead and talk to him again and change his formation back to stay close. Okay, maybe though, maybe he will move um, automatically at some point, I'm not sure. All right, let's try interacting with this. Computer is broken, okay. All right, so let's go over here. I'm still not sure where the actual elevator shaft, I guess it's this thing. This is the right side and this is the left side. I really don't know, it's kind of, oh, here it is. But see, he's, like, interacting with something down here. Okay, so what we want to do now is we want to hold this, go to the backpack, and then find the rope. Really don't like how this doesn't let you scroll down. Scroll wheels were out back in 1997, right? I think so. Okay, and then grab the rope. You successfully sling a rope down into the elevator shaft. Cool beans. All right, that's what we want. So now... I don't have any more tips for this game. Everything from here on out will be completely blind because it has been blind in terms of I haven't done anything. Um, but what in the world is that? But yeah, that was the last tip. So everything now will just be of my own volition. Um, actually, no, that's not true. There is one more. We want to use the rope. We want to come down into Vault 15. Apparently, there's a very good item we can find in a restroom. So we'll have to keep an eye out for a restroom. But that's it. Other than that, just the perks that we want to take and the perks that we want to avoid. So this is a pig rat. Okay, uh, we haven't seen those in the modern day Fallout games. Let's go ahead and shoot it. Uh, we should. Yeah, there we go. My god, there's a lot of things in here. Lots of rats. Another pig rat over there, it looks like. And more pig rats over here. So let's shoot this thing. Looks like they don't take a lot of damage. It looks like we kill them fast is what I'm trying to say. Really wish we had one more action point so we could just fire this pistol twice. Um, so if we press enter, I believe that ends our turn. Combat cannot end with, an, with nearby hostile creatures. Okay, space bar ends our turn, I think. Yes, indeed. Okay, so everything will move closer. I'm not sure why Ian is not attacking. 
but we'll go ahead and shoot this thing. Okay, it looks like it has more than 8 HP, um, but it might be 11 at the max. Okay, let's run away. There we go. Nice job, Ian. Okay, how many experience points do these things give us? I think we'll kill everything on this floor because we'll definitely get a level up. Um, so A will enter combat. Or at least allow us to enter combat. And then we can shoot this thing over here. Which we have a 53% chance. Yes, we got him. Very nice. Okay, I think we want to switch back over to the, um, to the knife, though. So that we can take down all of these rats without having to waste any ammo. Okay, so let's go ahead and attack this. We're not close enough. How close do we have to be before it gets uh, alerted? You need three action points. Okay, so we can press space to end our turn. Ian will come near us and then target out of range. But that's okay because it's still our turn, so we can move closer and attack. How do you have a 48% chance to hit a rat that's right in front of you? Now, how does that make sense? Please tell me. Okay, nice job, Ian. What in the world is this thing? What is that? You see .223 FMJ. It's some ammo. Okay, let's go ahead and take that then. Okay, luckily there is some sort of yellow border uh, around items that we can take, it looks like. You see a wall, so that's not a locker. Okay, let's press A again. And we need to move close to this rat over here. Did you get him? Wow! Nice job, Ian. Holy crap. Okay, so this is an, ele uh, an elevator shaft, too. So I guess this is what they look like. Okay, cool beans, Ian. You are... Wait. Ian killed something else. He didn't actually kill this thing. Oh, that would have been so awesome if we were able to kill that. Okay, we need to run away a little bit. You gonna attack him, Ian, or are you just gonna stand there? Okay, rat is dead. Very nice. Okay, we're at... 19 HP. I think we can tank the rest of this um, floor without dying. I'm going to kick your ass. Will you go kick his ass, Ian? I don't know how much HP you have, but I'm going to take this these guys over here. I think there was at least one more. Okay, nice job, Ian. Yeah, there's some rats over here. Okay, we got to watch out for that pig rat, though. Ian's just busting up everybody. Okay, how much does this thing do? Cave rat missed. Okay, well, this is not good. We're being attacked by multiple things. Um, the pig rat has more health, so I think we're going to attack the rat first and hope that we just flat out kill it. We did. Very nice. I think we can get one shot here. If we switch weapons, it will use some AP, so I don't think we would be able to do it. We missed the pig rat. Okay, we have one more shot, actually. But that might have been a mistake because we can't, can't move now. Oh, my God. Oh, wait. You were critically hit for eight points, bypassing your armor. The blow knocks you off your feet. I thought he just flat out killed us. Okay, that would have been very bad. All right, let's use one stim pack. Let's see, how do we use this? I've used it before. And we have an armor slot, too. We have to look out for some armor. Um, maybe I can't use it in combat. I feel like I can, though. I just... I'm forgetting. All right, let's run the hell away. Oh, my gosh. Okay, he missed both times. We really need to figure out how to use... Okay, let's see. There we go. There we go. There we go. Yeah, and then this. Okay, cool. And that didn't even use all of our AP. There we go. Cool. Okay, we hit the pig rat for six points. I think we'll hit him again. Oh my god, you really need to make these these things count, dude. Oh, this thing's only dealing like one point of damage to me. Okay, that's not too bad. Come on. Oh my gosh. <sighs> it's just like Morrowind all over again, man. Ooh, we were hit for five. Ooh, and nine points. Okay, let's go ahead and use another stim pack here. Definitely do not want to die. That uses three AP. And obviously we can use our pistol, but I'm just going to kill this thing. It's got to be close to death. Oh my god, I hate this. Uh, what is it with these old-ass games and missing everything? That's not fun. Come on, man. There we go. Jeez. Okay, Ian's just clearing out everybody. We got 350 experience points. We've killed everything in here. All right, we've got to be, like, super close. We're literally 20 points away from a level up. 20 points away. That's one cave rat. Okay, but we are done here. Oh my gosh. All right. I, I really don't like... Oh, there's a cave... Oh, there's cave rats in here. Nice. We will level up, in fact. 
Okay, nice two points. That's not going to matter. Uh, let's test to see if we get our HP back when we level up. How do you miss... How? How, how do I miss three times when it's like 40... When it's like a 45% chance? I... How? Just how? How is that even... Oh, gosh. Alright, let's move right here. Let's kill this guy. What just happened there? You critically missed and your weapon dropped. Are you... What? Are you serious? Okay, well, luckily we have a pistol. We'll have to pick up that, uh... Okay, we'll run away a little bit. We'll, ha we'll have to pick up that machete again. Alright, time to die, rat. Okay, good. I didn't want to hit Ian there. Alright, end combat. Combat has ended. Okay, now... The rat literally fell on top of my machete. But I think we have some more, don't we? We have a whole bunch of machetes, I believe. Yeah, we have six of them. <laughs> okay. There we go. Easily enough. We don't have any armor, do we? No, we don't. We still have the shotgun, too, and I believe we definitely... Yeah, we have 40 shells for it. So now that I know how to reload, we could use the shotgun as well. Uh, should we switch over? Should we have a pistol and a knife? I think we should, shouldn't we? Yeah, so let's switch over here. And then, um, let's see, how do we do that again? Do we hold this and then press all? There we go. Okay, so now we're reloaded. Cool beans! We have some more ammo over here. I'm not sure what that uh, type of ammo is for just yet. Uh, let's see if we can't see any. Like, these monitors are cracked. Um, we still haven't killed everything in here. Oh, and we leveled up, of course. So let's go to our character. And now we get a perk. Okay, I'm really surprised they don't give you a perk at level 2. Alright, let's see what we have here. Awareness. Let's see, what do we want? Good perks are awareness, quick pockets, toughness, and more criticals. So let's see, we have awareness. We have quick pockets. And that's it. So it's going to be between those, awareness and quick pockets. Wait, can we go further down? No. Okay, let's take a look at these. Awareness is you are more likely to notice details about people. Awareness will give more detailed information about them when you perform and examine. Okay, well, apparently that's good to take. And then we have quick pockets. You have learned to better store your equipment on your person. With each level of this perk, the AP cost to access inventory in combat is reduced by one. So, I'm not. So maybe like the stim pack uses two, and then accessing our inventory uses one. That would only take two instead. That doesn't seem as big of a deal right now, so I think we'll take awareness. They, they both don't seem like they'll help us out too much, but... Yeah. Okay, we have 16 skill points, and we are dangerously close to maxing out small guns, which we have a lot for. Oh. They go higher than 100%. Okay, that makes sense then. Um, okay, well, if that's the case, let's put the ones that we want over the 100% threshold. And we'll keep moving on. So, big guns, no. Energy weapons, no. Unarmed. Why do we have so much unarmed? Um, melee weapons. Throwing first aid, doctor, sneak, lockpick, and speech. Uh, let's go with speech. Yeah, I think we'll get speech to 100 next. No free skill points available. Okay, that is all of our stuff. Uh, and we're a general in terms of reputation. This is a ranged stat that represents your general reputation. The higher into the number, the number, the better known and respected you are. If your rep is negative, you are hated by some for your evil actions. And what are kills? Oh, that's cool. Gives like a kill, kill count. Very nice. Okay, we have leveled up and we got our first perk. Very nice. All right, so now let's um, explore the rest of this floor. I know we haven't done much exploration in this episode so far, ladies and gentlemen, but again, just getting my bearings and I think I think now we've hit a critical mass where we'll start moving along faster and faster. There is a locker over here. This is the vault living quarters. It is a standard design from the time before the war. Good to know. Yeah, there is a locker over there. Oh, where did you come from? You little rat. Big mistake, hombre. That's it. Okay, let's hug the walls. Make sure there's like a little secret wall in here or a secret room. I'm not sure if we can get into it or not. Uh, but in the meantime, let's open this. We haven't had to lockpick anything so far. Including this. Okay, why does it give you the rope after you, you don't need the rope anymore? Ooh, this looks like some armor. What is this? You see a leather jacket. Well, cool. Alright. Well, let's go into our inventory. Find said leather jacket. And hopefully just be able to drag it over here. 
Yeah! Very nice! Look at that! We, we're like the road warrior now. Okay, cool. Alright, we need a quick save because we have done so many good things. I am so incredibly proud of myself. I know the people that have played this game are probably like, Dude, you haven't even gotten started. I know, but this just... This is going so much... This is going so well, and I did not think it was going to go this well. All right, let's let's fully explore the rest of this. See if there's anything hiding um, by the walls over here. Or anything? Can we interact with like these rocks? A small pile of rocks. Maybe we can if we had like a, a pickaxe or something. I don't know. Uh, also, of course, we could loot all the rats, but they haven't um, been dropping anything lately. I think there's at least one more rat in here, so we'll take him out, and then we'll just have to go down the elevator shaft. Can we interact with the console? No, we cannot. It is broken. Okay, rat, I know you're in here. There's a rat in here, right? Yeah, there's a little, yeah, there's a little alcove over here. Can we get into it? Because we are looking for some special uh, thing, but I think we want to go further below. Because uh, we're looking for a bathroom. And this does kind of look like maybe it could be a bathroom, but it, yeah, there's a wall here. So, wait, 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 wait. There is something on that wall. What is that? You see a toilet. This is a bathroom. Well, how the thing we're looking for is indeed in the uh, in a bathroom in Vault 15. Okay. What? Well, oh, wait, wait. This might be a bathroom too. Why is there a wall here? And when we get close, when we get close, it like disappears as if there's no wall. Okay. Let's get close to this. Moving around in this game is is a bit hard. Where are where are we? What in the world? Yeah. See, we can like get to the edge of the wall. Come on, get get over there. Yeah, okay, here's another bathroom. Is what we're looking for in here? No, Ian, not you. Excuse me, the bathroom. What we're looking for, it might be in here. Ian, move! You see nothing out of the ordinary. I know, well, I want to get closer. Yuck, whoever used the last, whoever used this last did not flush. Well, that's just disgusting. Okay, these are bathrooms. I want to interact with the, this toilet closer if I can. This toilet is broken and definitely not usable if you're a woman. <laughs> okay, alright, cool beans. Okay, well maybe it's on the next floor, I'm not exactly sure. It's really hard exploring places like these. I think we'll go down for now. Oh, we needed the rope to go down, I, I, re I just realized. Okay, the elevator shaft is probably going to tell us it's broken. I don't want to waste the rope if we don't have to. Yes, we need a rope. Okay, so we hit this, we go to the backpack, go all the way down again, and boom. We'll install the rope. Okay. Yeah, we're looking for some... I feel like it is in here, and I just didn't know how to get it. Um, we're going to save the game here, just in case that's the case. And uh, I think we'll just go down for now. So down we go. To the next floor. Oh, my God. Okay, we have another pig rat, I think. Right? Is that what this thing is? Uh, let's switch... No, let's not switch over the shotgun. We have a mole rat there, too. You're out of ammo. Oh, my gosh. Are you kidding me? Why doesn't this, like, reload more? We get we got, like, seven shots, and then we have to reload. Um, I wonder if there is actually... Wait. Let's see. Okay. How much AP did that take? It looks like it didn't take much at all. Oh, my gosh. Okay, only one point of damage from that mole rat. I think we can flat out kill it here. Uh, let's try switching to the shotgun, though, since it's close range, obviously. And that doesn't seem to take any AP, so then we should just be able to smash this thing in the face. Yeah, 17 points! Greater mole rat, too. It's a bigger mole rat than usual. Okay, ladies and gentlemen, I think we'll end this episode here. Obviously, we have a ton of stuff to deal with, and I'm not sure how I'm going to do combat. If you guys would be so kind, please leave a comment. I'm sure a lot of you, I'm sure most of you would not want to see me kill everything. That seems a bit tedious, right? So, just leave a comment. Do you want to just see me mainly, like, kill a couple of things on each floor and then wipe everything out? Because I do want to wipe everything out. It seems like we'll get a ton of experience. Uh, or do you want to see me kill every single thing? I don't think that's going to be the case because that takes up too much time. But let me know in the comment section below. Um, I'm interested. And we're going to end this episode here. Thank you guys so much for watching. Ooh, I'm having fun. Like, I, I don't know. This game's really simplistic and old, obviously. But it's a lot of fun. I don't know how to explain it. I hope it's it seems fun to you guys. Uh, like, maybe you guys want to play it. It's really cheap. It's on Steam. But yeah, I'm having a lot of fun. So thank you guys for watching this so far. We're going to end this episode here. And 
and I will see you guys in the next episode. Bye-bye.